tomorrow is Tuesday and we're going to solve this problem tomorrow in the class. Consider a table and let's have a mass on the table and let's say 10 kilogram. Okay. And let's say there are some applied force acting on it. We'll create a table over here. And let's say a few other things. Mu, mu s is 0.4 and mu k is 0.3. Okay, what else I can give you? I think that's it. Uh, all right, so we're gonna finish this table. We're gonna have F A. A different, um, of course, applied force. Let's start with 10 Newton, and then of course 20, and then 30, and then something else we'll see, and then 40, and then 50. Okay, what else are we gonna find? FF maybe. What else we can find? F normal. What else we can find? FF, F net, and finally acceleration. Okay, this is our goal. So first find the free body diagram. Free body diagram, you see that what are the two forces acting on it? Fg is equal to mg. So m is 10 and g is 9.8, so 98 Newton. Normal force is equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, so is gonna be 98 Newton. The next important thing is we have to find the maximum um, friction possible. So max, maximum friction possible is, let's use the different color, maximum friction possible is F uh, S max and that would be that would be mu S F N and mu S is 0.4, F N is 98. So 39.2 for 39.2 Newton over here. That's very important. Okay. All right, so what is the kinetic friction? So let's use the blue to find the kinetic friction. K is equal to mu K Fn. 0.3 times 29.4. Okay, all right, so let's, let's get it started. All right, the first thing, what are you gonna find? FF. So when applied forces, so let's put the thing over here. All right, so this is 10. And when applied force is uh, applied force is 10, 10 newton. When applied force is 10 newton, think about that. What is the force of friction? Well, the force of friction minimum force I have to apply to move this box is 39.2. Anything less than 39.2, the box won't move. So is 10 more than 39.2? Uh, well, no. So force of friction would be 10. And the normal force, we already know the normal force. Normal force is 98. Normal force, in fact, 98 for all the problem. All the, all the blank, 98. Okay, good. So force of friction is um, immediately, immediately, if you apply 10 Newton, the force of friction. Okay, so what are you gonna do? So calculator over here, and you apply 10 Newton over here. The moment you apply 10 Newton, uh, the ground will apply same 10 newton all right equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to keep the calculator at rest okay but the ground can only do so much in this case ground can do only 39.2 if you apply more than 39.2 and pull it and then the ground will give up so that is when the ground give up so make sure you understand that part okay so the friction is 10. So when you use 20 in, instead of 10, you use, you use 20 Newton applied force, 20 is uh, less than 39.2. So then 20. When you apply 30, 30 is still less than uh, 39.2. So 30. 39.2 is not less than 39.2. 39.2 is equal to 39.2. So there would be no acceleration. There would not be any acceleration. Acceleration would be zero is because the object would move with constant velocity. Object would move with constant velocity. So the velocity would be, velocity would be constant. Constant. All right. In this case, velocity would be zero. Velocity would be zero. Velocity would be zero. This case, object will move, but with constant velocity. Hopefully, you understand it. Okay. Now, 
Net force. Net force. Uh, what is the net force over here? Of course, net force is zero because ob object is not moving. Net force is zero. Net force is net force is zero. Okay, good. Constant velocity means net force is zero. Of course, acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Acceleration is zero. Of course, thirty-nine mm, force of friction is still thirty-nine point two. Okay. Now, if you apply force that is more than thirty-nine point two, and that is how much? Forty. Is 40 bigger than 39.2? Of course, if 40 bigger than 39.2, then what happened? Um, then kinetic friction takes over, and kinetic friction is how much? 29.4. So we're gonna write 29.4. Okay. Now we apply 50. Is 50 greater than 39.2? Yes, 50 is greater than 39.2. So the kinetic friction takes over. So then we're gonna write. 29.4 so now we're gonna have to write the net force um, so net force how can we write the net force net force is um, force applied minus this one so 40 minus 29.4 and that would be 10.6 and this one 50 minus 29.4 is 20.6 all right so the acceleration is 1.06 so 10.6 10.6 divided by 10 is 1.06. This one is 2.06. Uh, this one is constant velocity. No, not constant velocity. This one is uh, the velocity increases. Velocity increases over time. This one is velocity increases over time is because there is an acceleration. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to do draw a friction graph. The friction graph, that's what you're going to do now. All right, so this is our applied force and this is our force of friction. Y is force of friction, uh, X is applied force. Okay, now let's see. We're going to go by 10, 10, 20, 30, and so on. So 10, 20, 30, 39.2, 40, uh, uh, and, then, and then 50. Right? If applied force is zero, then force of friction is zero. If applied force is 10, then force of friction is 10. If applied force is 20, force of friction is 20. If applied force is 30, force of friction is 30. If applied force is 39.2, force of friction is 39.2, 29.4. So what is 29.4? So this is 29.4. All right. Okay. So at 40, at 40, this is 29.4. At 50, this is also 29.4. At probably 60, we'll see that this is also 29.4. So what is it? Kinetic friction is constant. What is it? Static friction is less than or equal to 39.2. Why is that? Because mu s fn is between uh, 0 to 39.2 anything between 0 to 39.2 and this is the peak 39.2 newton brought to you by brilliant.org the bari science lab to fall in love with math and science <laughs>